This is a short video about the famous Lionel F3s uh, and what it takes to get them to work and to do tune-up that's necessary. I did the normal thing when I got into this and I tried to run them and they didn't work and did the commutators and the motor brushes and as you can see they're pretty dirty and I cleaned that. But what I found was that the wheel trucks on these things were just full of grease plastic parts in there. They wouldn't even move even on the Amtrak F3s, it turned out that they were completely plugged, as you can see. What I wanted to point out is that, you know, when you try to work on all the aspects of a F3, I didn't at least all expect that the wheel sets to be such an issue as they were. But I found within that that the rubber tires that they have, especially in the 1970s, late 70s, uh, in particular case an Amtrak F3, completely plugged the wheels also in there with the grease and nothing could move. So I had to come up with some new wheels to make it work. Uh, as you can see, I put one on this side here. I had to clean them carefully in mineral spirits. Uh, tried the one inch wheel first, which didn't work. Then I went to a three quarter inch wheel, which in this particular case worked well. So once I got those on there, um, and again, it's a little bit of an effort to do so, but you can actually put the rubber tires on there with the right hand side in this particular case is where the groove was and where it needed to be and then this little plastic gear goes in whereas on the F3 uh, 2243 they were all brass so I found that to be very interesting in terms of uh, the differences are only in that particular way. This particular case getting that rubber tire on was not too hard. You have to push and get it straight uh, make it happen but once they're on they're fine and they turn very freely which was a pleasant surprise. And then you take the gears, which in this case were brass with the plastic parts, which are very similar again to the 2243, which was 20 years before that. Install those places, in those places there within the wheel set, push them down in. Uh, then I did the other one the same way, getting the gears put together. And once you've got those done, then you can run the wire through that has the pickup shoe. At least this is on the 1978, I believe it is, Amtrak F3 and you put the single uh, roller pickup in, you screw it down, it, uh, since it's a double motor, you've got two of these, one on each wheel set, put them in place, get them screwed down, and then you get ready to install them because we'll have to solder them back towards the E unit to make them work. A little grease is also wise because uh, these particular parts are all metal, not plastic, so little grease on the bottom of the motor and some on the wheel set in there which was a brass piece. Put that back together, Get it secured, uh, use the screw, which is probably one of the larger screws that they had with it. Put that in, tighten it down, did the same with the wheel set and the motor on the front. Had to tin the wires so I could get those uh, soldered back. And here we are, back with this particular 1978 um, F3. It happens to be again was a um, Amtrak engine, runs beautifully. Hope this video gave you some ideas on restoration of an F3. Wheel sets are a trick, uh, a surprise. Uh, tune in next week for another video. Thank you.